Sometimes you'll encounter situations where you're adding a salt to a solution that already has certain ions there. And your job will be to figure out whether the already present ions influence the solubility of that salt. And so this is where you encounter the common ion effect or spectator ions. And the way that this works is if there are already ions present in your solution that are part of the KSP equation, so here we have the KSP, the solubility product of sodium iodide, NaI. And if there are already some sodium ions or some iodide ions in there, then you will see a reduction in the molar solubility of sodium iodide. And the reason for that is that if we're looking at the molar solubility of sodium iodide and relating that to KSP, normally what happens, remember that, uh, that X of NaI is the amount of the moles of NaI that you can add per liter. And so if we're converting from molar solubility to KSP, what we'll end up with here is for every mole of NaI that you have, that dissolves into one sodium, so that'll just be X here, and it dissolves into one iodine ion, so that'll just be another X here, and what you'll end up with is X squared equals KSP. Now let's just say that you already had present maybe a 0.1 molar NaCl solution, and that means that you already have 0.1 moles of NaCl. That's going to change the equation a little bit. KSP is still going to be the same, but rather than just X as Na, let's uh, use N. N is the new amount of sodium iodide that will dissolve, so we could say N of NaI here. What you'll end up with is 0.1 of the sodium that's already there plus N. That'll be the new equilibrium value of sodium with N units of, of sodium iodide already dissolved. And then we multiply that by N. And so then what you see is that you're going to have N be a slightly smaller number if this is going to equal that. And they are both going to be equal because the KSP of sodium iodide doesn't change no matter whether you have NaCl or other things in there. The KSP is the equilibrium solubility product where it wants to be. But because you already have some sodium in there, that's going to make it so that you reach this KSP value faster. And so the molar solubility, the amount of NaI that you can dissolve before it saturates, is going to be less. It's going to be this new value N, which is going to be smaller than X. And so that's the common ion effect. Now, if you have a solution with a number of ions in it already, but none of those ions are sodium or iodine, then you have what's called a spectator ion. Because those ions don't participate in the KSP, they don't participate in the solubility product, that's going to have no effect whatsoever on the molar solubility of sodium iodide. So for example, if you add NaI to a KCl solution, the K and the Cl are not going to influence the solubility of the NaI. The molar solubility will not be changed. However, if you added NaI to something like an NaCl solution, the already existing Na will make it so that you dissolve less and less of this sodium iodide and you reach the KSP value faster. Thus, the molar solubility of NaI will be affected by a common ion, meaning that there already is present some ion that is part of this KSP. If there are ions present but they're not part of KSP, so they're not Na and they're not I, then those are going to have no effect on the molar solubility of NaI after that because the KSP value only cares about the sodium and the iodine ions. They do not care about any other ions that may be present.